Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous videos we have created a virtual machine named SC300 and uh, we also created a, a key vault and inside the key vault we have added uh, secrets. So we have added a secret key and uh, which is of admin info and there is information inside this and apart from this we also created an access policies and we have uh, gave uh, access to the virtual machine. So using virtual machine we can access uh, this particular secret right so let's go back and uh, let's connect with virtual machine so already connected so i'll just show you how to connect so i have to click this virtual machine that uh, we have created in the lab one so once you create it uh, there is a section called connect so click that and uh, select the rtp so if you select it you have to download the file once you download it there will be a prompt uh, which will be prompting to you and you have to just use the username and password that we have created in the lab one. So you have to remember those username and passwords. So I've already downloaded it and have logged into this. So this is the virtual machine that uh, we have created. So let's open partial from here. So let's click uh, partial. So we have logged into the partial and let's add the commands here. So I'm just adding those commands. So this is the first command uh, which is mentioned in the docs. So this will uh, invoke the web request on the tenant to get the token uh, from the local host in the specific port for the VM. And coming to the next one, it uh, extracts the access token from the response. So let me add that one too. And uh, the other one. Uh, so now we'll be using the command which will uh, retrieve the secret that uh, we have created in the previous videos. So let's go ahead and uh, add that command. There you go. So you can see we can uh, we are able to access the value here and the content time that we have created. So I just added a random information where I just mentioned it as Ravi's admin. So you can also mention uh, the content type, the API key. Let's say you are uh, making some news application. Uh, you can. Uh, specify uh, the news here and you can add the api key in the value so you can perform this way so this is how you can uh, access the key uh, secrets from the vm since we have uh, gave the permission from the policies that uh, in the previous videos and you can also access from uh, like the partial here you can use the same commands and get the information so i'll just uh, just wanted to show just add it let's add the first command let's add the second one let's add the third one where we'll be getting the results least there you go so we have got the information uh, similarly so even we were able to access from vm uh, because of the policies that we have created in the previous video so that's it for now for this video i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video and make sure you delete all the resources that you have created because uh, those are charged so yeah and i'll be keeping the relevant videos in the description for you to watch and if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you've not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone